So Modern Warfare 2 was just live on YouTube. Call of Duty did a live stream of it. I'm going to make this short and sweet here because the video is a little long. It's about 15 minutes. We're going to be talking about Verdansk is now on mobile. Proximity chat, the, the zone in Warzone, the rotation that can like form into three small zones in the one. Uh, Warzone 2.0 release, the gameplay, new maps, new game modes, the online trailer. There's like 16 different gadgets you can use that are so cool. Water mechanics, you can swim underwater, you can shoot your gun underwater. I don't think you can shoot your primary yet. But the insane gunsmith, the beta release, there's a sandbox mode for what? Dude, there's so much. If you missed it, I put all the good clips in that I can gather. And yeah, it's like 15 minutes, so enjoy. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, subscribe if you enjoyed. And yeah. We are extremely excited to give you the world premiere of the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer trailer. Thanks again. Right, let's go. Give me something good, please. We got info reports Hassan and the cartel forming terrorist cells. Dude, this is going to be like the next three years of my life, bro. I'm still playing Modern Warfare 19. Oh wow, water. Dude, that's like some ground war shit. Enemies above. Drill charge. This no, go back. What the fuck? Look at this. Enemy. Look at that. Whoa. He threw Drill charge. This Dude, that's insane. Oh. You're gonna be okay. Oh, the hostage, that's pretty sweet. Cameras? Oh, is that he's repelling? Dude, he's repelling. I heard rumors about repelling where you could actually control it. You can see how far you want to go up and down, sideways. Look, he's rep he's repelled. Or no, he's just holding on. He's just holding on. That's dope. C-130. Get ready, team. We have never seen a war zone like this. The world is a battle. Behind us. Oh shit, this is war zone. I think. Oh, it's like an RCXD drone. That's freaking cool. Boats. Oh, it's a Bugs and Betty on water. Gunsmith 2.0. Dude, they got third person. Stop the cap. Stop. I have the chills. They brought back third person. Thanks. Underwater fighting. I'm on my way. And then we they said there's like six teen new equipments to use. The heartbeat sensor has a battery now, so you can't just sit there and use it indefinitely. Um, the there's a new decoy. It's like a blow up doll. You can place it in a room and leave that room and it goes off when an enemy goes by and it like blows up and it looks like your character is cool. You know, is is based in that. A lot of new shit. Old sandboxy gameplay that we have. We looked back at our six v six maps and really tried to refine and uh, make them a tighter experience to contrast all this big world um, kind of exploratory gameplay. So the maps uh, for six v six, in comparison to the last game, they're just um, a little bit more straightforward, a little bit more refined, and um, I think fans will really enjoy how um, quick they play. That sounds... I like that, but I also don't because if you're not an aggressor, you're kind of screwed. 
But I don't know. We'll see. I play all stuff. I'm aggressor. I camp. I do it all. I mean, it just depends. On the south coast of our big map, and it, we picked this because it has such a great mix of gameplay. Uh, it's right on a harbor, so we get to show off all our boats and our new amphibious um, APC. Um, and, you know, that looks boat as we badass, that's good. Um, but what you get inside the town is this really intense urban combat with all these tight little alleyways and uh, all this great rooftop combat. And mixed with our ledge hang, you get these really cool parkour combat um, uh, action happening. Yeah, I love how you describe the uh, the rooftops there on this map specifically as like a separate ecosystem. You can kind of migrate that entire vertical. You can go up there yeah. and just Ow, you and fudge. fight other snipers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that looks fantastic, Jeff. Okay, so that's one of our larger maps. Uh, what about some of the 6v6 maps? I think we have uh, we have some footage of one of the new maps that we're going to be seeing today uh, named Mercado Las Almas. Uh, do you mind giving us some details on this one? Sure. Mercado is... Um, is a uh, little street market in a historic section in Mexico. Um, our story behind this is, hey, uh, you know, what's the mouse dog get? What the hell? Being smuggled out of a warehouse, and they're going in trying to um, find and seize them. Um, this map plays really fast and a lot of action right down that center lane. Um, the Mercado is a very dangerous uh, neck of the woods, so watch out when you're uh, <laughs> playing in the beta. It plays fast. Fast roping. They're coming in on medium birds. Um, Wait, it's what? this high action mode, it's super fun, but it's also really chill. The announcer's not barking at you, he's not saying like, hey, get to B, you know, they're taking C. <laughs> you can kind of play it how you want to play it. You sit up on a rooftop and snipe, you can grab a shotgun and go room clearing. If you push too far into the enemy's base, AI will come hunt you. Um, but we've also been really um, conscious of where we put AI in multiplayer. Um, we didn't put AI in kill streaks or anything like that because we don't want AI showing up in search and destroy. We don't want AI in domination. This mode, though, however, was built for AI, and it's a super fun mode. Can that would be fun to friends, clearing rooms and shit. Took the have a mix, because I'm pretty sure there's also the online players mix with it. That'd be fun. Large scale oh, that okay, looks freaking dope. So prisoner Pris dude, it's like some, some seeds. Oh base. my god, it's like some seed shit. The defenders have two prisoners. They're kind of spread out, and they need to, to keep hold of them. The goal of the attackers is to get to those prisoners, pick them up, and carry them to Xfil. Um, when you pick them up, you enter what's called a wounded carry, where they're up on your shoulders and you can't use your primary weapons. Instead, you have to use a pistol if you brought it, or you're just stuck with fists. But the way that we give the attackers an advantage once they grab that prisoner is they get a radar sweep for their team, so they can call out where the defenders are, um, and the objective icon over the prisoner goes away as soon as they scoop them up. So now the defenders have to basically rotate back to the Xfil and set up defensive positions. And it's this heart pounding. Oh, uh, that's kind of dope. Like, I like that because, because that once you pick up that prisoner, um, yeah, that's, you're that's not run, you're yeah. not on the map. I like that. It's that's like all games uh, I've played where you got to do game modes like that. There's a big freaking thing on your head showing where you're at. I like that. Good job. It's good. This is my personal favorite of the new one. Of officially announcing that third person view is finally coming to Modern Warfare 2. Uh, what are the details behind this? <laughs> so dumb, no, let's go! Uh, on, on stage from Patrick, but what are the details? Yeah, you saw a little hint of it in the trailer too. Um, it's It's been a pet project for us, right? We've always wanted to do Oh, third yes, person, sir. And all while we're working on all this other stuff, we've been kind of lifting up and doing third person. It means Dude, let's go. It's a modifier on our game, right? We can just turn on third person. In the beta, we'll be playing it in hardpoint, but we want to try it post launch in S. D. We want to try it in VR. Um, you should be able to do hip fire in third person. I don't want to have to aim in first though. But my guy's still camera view is still in third. I want to aim in third. It's just we've put a lot of work into it, and we're excited for people to give it a try. Incredible! I can't wait to see what third person COD feels like in 2022. Fuck! They got Cali sticks again. God, the samurai shit! It comes spamming. Oh God! This starts tomorrow. So oh, sure you come on. Right bullshit now. how I gotta so wait. Check out your screens since here's exactly when you can play the beta on your platform of choice. But don't forget, friends, it's also definitely worth noting that if you pre-order the Vault Edition of Modern Warfare 2, you get to use the Red Team 141 Operator Pack and the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault in the beta in addition to being able to earn I gotta game rewards for playing. That's right, Miles. Welcome to Almazra. This is our new map for Warzone 2.0. It is an 
really interesting mix of geography. It is expansive desert oh, settings with a mix this of This is where I'm going to be areas, throwing up for the towns, next freaking three city, years. And of course, water. It looks way better on this screen than it did on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you're going to find a lot of really cool elevation, rocky peaks, caves, subterranean spaces. This map is beautiful, and it's actually the biggest BR map that we've ever made. And um, I am so excited for all of our streamers here to jump into El Masra. It's crazy back. looking it's at that map because I'm gonna jump there yeah, so many times, and I'm gonna rage so many times. To see it from a sort of top-down oh, layout, boy. but uh, let's take a better look at some of these points of interest. So when we set out to create these spaces, the team works to make it feel like a real space, right? So that there's infrastructure in between all the different, what we call points of interest along the map. And if you're paying attention, you might even see a few- That looks visually great, dude. There as well. Oh, um, and oh so my God, I know that map. These, they're trying to find some variety on each- I don't know the uh, name of it, but that was from MW2. Something that the players will want to drop in and get the particularity of that single point of interest and find the place that they want to drop and where they want to play, whether it be a high ele elevation observatory at the center of the map, whether it be the big city that's at the top right, and whether they want to explore that or whether they want to work in some of our POIs where we have water intersecting with, ge with geometry here. So we have in this one. Uh, Ooh, that oh, looks familiar. That looks familiar. I look familiar. <laughs> Um, and there's a river system that goes through all of this, so you'll be able to catch in a boat and drive between the different POIs. <laughs> and here's one of our favorite, <laughs> Sawa Village, which is that's my favorite. Colloquially yeah. called Sunken Town. I uh, mean, I love to swim, so you find me there. Absolutely. Um, I'm curious what you guys think, Jack and Joe, on what the hot drop will be today, right? We've been talking about this the last couple of days. This is our first time seeing. Yeah, I don't know. You kind of hit a spot, and you're like, wait a. I've been here before. I know what this, this is. is. <laughs> what? Like, have all these flashbacks. <laughs> Yeah. Well, a lot of nuggets in there for some I think one particular feature that I cannot wait to see the streamers <laughs> engage with will be our prox chat. Yes. Uh, so it's coming. It will be in Warzone, and I, I, I there is going to be some amazing clips. <laughs> but uh, but in proximity chat. I think Joe can. Uh, <laughs> they're like, yes. Um, you know, prox chat. In, Let's uh, go. We still have the humming crates, you know, you can still travel around there and listen to the, the, the ground circle. So we've got this new mechanic where the circle can actually split, almost like a cell splits, into two three, or even four circles. And then those circles kind of close down. And what it does is it segregates teams and you have these micro battles in those circles. And at a certain point, you're like, okay, we've cleared out our circle. We think we're good. And then those circles merge. They come oh, back together. And you know, you have this shit. very directed fight of like, as the circle's moving, you're like gearing up in buildings. You're like, here we go. It's about to kick off. And as soon as those circles hit, you have that final fight. So it's another kind of oh, like wow. twist in the gameplay that we feel like is a- We're going to have some very, very interesting new modes. Uh, would you care to confirm? or deny Stephanie Snowden. It's finally time. <laughs> I have read about some new modes on the internet recently, <laughs> but one of the most exciting things about Warzone 2.0 is confirmation that an all new sandbox experience is coming at launch. I am happy to announce DMZ. Call of Duty's extraction mode will arrive with Warzone 2.0 at launch later this year. And I played DMZ for the very first time on my first day at IW, and to this day, playing it nonstop, the possibilities with this game mode blow my mind. So DMZ, I can also confirm that DMZ is real. <laughs> Warzone 2.0 will be free to play for everyone on November 16th with the start of season one across modern warfare 2 mark your November calendars 16th, that's about okay. two weeks uh after <laughs> after modern warfare 2 launches uh oh it's mobile verdansk on mobile then i got gotcha. you that's still cool what five other own channels and Unreal, man. Yeah. It's unreal. I mean, all these guys are going hard. You can see he's locked in. Uh, talk a little bit about the game and the movement, though. When I first hopped on yesterday, the movement felt so much different than Call of Duty's in the past. You know, it's not that slide cancel. You got to complete your slide. The dive mechanic, it plays out so much different. Uh, I'm the kill is pretty fast. Fight. You can dive out of a window. Miles, it was a lot of The stream quality is shit. Get into the mix. I also, I'm going to tell this now. It's going to be man in that book, yeah. People, but last night, Ninja wasn't in the venue. I played on his setup. He <laughs> wasn't quite here yet. And I found there was an in game, like, whisper feature. So I was sending messages to other creators <laughs> as Ninja talking horrendous <laughs> smack. 
<laughs> like horrendous, horrendous trash talk. All very good natured, friends of mine, you know, but I'd be kind of weird to get that from Ninja, right? <laughs> yeah, does yeah. Ninja know you did this? He has no idea. He's I walked past, I walk up uh, and nah. slap him. I walked past him today and I was like, good morning, dude, how you been? He's like, hey man. Not he a single no word, idea. Ali, not a word. Not a word. I actually, I actually got into a game against you specifically. I was I was on, I believe, Nate trying to me account. I don't believe that he's here today, but I was I was getting disrespectful with some people <laughs> on the map. And I believe that you were in my last game, and the second I killed you, you left. I, oh, I remember hey, looking hey, at the leaderboard hey. and you That wow. wasn't me, you that was Ninja. A quitter. <laughs> a quitter, Miles. That was Ninja. Over to Courage now, he's having a, a good time. And uh, you know what? <laughs> 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 Listen, he is, as much as he's like a fun, good loving, like everyone takes a jack, and it's just like this great nature guy, he is one of those competitive human beings oh, I've ever met. Like he gets pissed, bro. Passion, raging passion. And look, it's me on the right hand side. No, it's not, it's me. <laughs> And I will also say, with to Whoa, what, what is this? Earlier about the game mechanics, something else that I noticed what is that this I view? feel like I felt in other Call of Duty games is how what kind of realistic hell? the movement with your gun is, if that makes sense. Like, there's obviously always going to be recoil, your attachment's always going to mess with that, but when you peek corners and stuff, the way your gun moves with you is very, very realistic. And I think that's going to be something a lot of these players are going to notice and have to get used to very quickly. And you saw a taste there of uh, when you're spectating a player, you get that kind of like over the shoulder, like tactical camera view. And it just had this insane level of like that, that was cool. Like I like that. That's pretty sweet.